Hello loves and welcome back to another vlog. I'm so excited to be vlogging today. I've had so many requests to film a vlog. You guys seem to have really missed them. I just wanted to start this video off by saying a massive thank you to today's sponsor, which is the brand O Sugar, which you can see their product right here. I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. I have a discount code for you, which will be on screen and the link will be in the description for you guys to go check it out. But let me tell you a little bit about this bad boy. This little product that you can see here is called the Cuddly Bird. I love the name of that and it does actually look like a little bird. It is so cute. Just a little tiny, it's just adorable. You may be thinking, what is this? This is actually a sex toy, even though it literally looks like a little ornament to have on your bedside table. It goes so pretty on mine, I literally just leave it there. It's got a little lamp as well. This is amazing because it is actually a two-in-one. It does suction and vibration, which I've never found something that does that. It's really smooth to the touch and it's also really squishy as well. It just feels nice in your hand. It wirelessly charges on this little base that you can see here. And like I said, you can just leave it out if you want to because I think it actually looks really pretty it looks like an ornament it's also waterproof so you can use it in the shower or the bath and it's really easy to clean as well i hate things where it's just really awkward you've got to get baby wipes out this you can just stick under the tap give it a good wash so it comes in three colors mint lemon and peach i obviously got the peach one because it's just so cute it really matches my bedside table with the flowers and the candle and everything it just fits on there perfectly as i said i love how the base lights up because if the lights are all off and you're like rummaging through drawers trying to find stuff it kind of we're in the mood when you're trying to spend five minutes looking for something this is just right there glowing ready to use this is an award-winning product and i can see why because it just ticks every box it does everything you need it to and it's absolutely incredible i have a discount code for you guys on screen and also the link will be in the description definitely go check it out thank you so much to oh sugar for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the vlog hello welcome back to a vlog i feel like i haven't done this for the longest time ever i haven't vlogged for so long um, but a lot of you guys said that you want to see a vlog from me, so I'm back, I'm doing a vlog just for you guys that said you wanted to see it. Um, it's a Wednesday today, it's like midday on a Wednesday, which is a really funny time to start a vlog, but I've just been so busy this morning. I know you're probably thinking, why are you not dressed and no makeup on midday on a Wednesday? Um, but my routine is kind of different now. I, um, went to the gym this morning, I got there for like... 7.30, I did like probably two or three hours of work, just like laptop computer work. Then I did like an hour long workout. It felt really good. I was so tired yesterday. I was just absolutely exhausted yesterday. I don't know what it was. There was something in the air. I was just like, oh, the whole time I was working out, I was like, get me home, get me home. Um, but today I felt really good. I did like an ab workout. I did some uh, like Stairmaster stuff. I did some time on the treadmills and 12, 3.30. Then I did the elliptical, a little bit of weight, and it just felt really nice like it didn't feel like forced like I didn't feel like I'd force myself to go to the gym it just felt really nice today I've done all my admin work all my emails have been sent all my emails have been replied to my inbox is empty I've sent all the messages I need to I've reached out to all the brands and all the influencers I need to and all the companies that I work with and I just feel like like I've got off to a really good start today I feel really like motivated and happy and it's like half past 11 no, I think. Yeah, it's half past 11. I thought it was half past 12 for some reason. But it's half 11, finished showering, I'm popping on my skincare, and I'm about to get ready to go out and take some photos for Instagram, um, which I hate doing on my own. I absolutely, I can't, like, can you picture this right now? Like, imagine me on a really busy street in Oxford with, like, a massive plastic tripod with a remote control standing there like this. <laughs> I set, the, I set the tripod up and then I'm standing there and I'm like, it's the most awkward thing in the entire world. It's just so embarrassing and so awkward and you get so many funny looks and I usually just end up giving up to be honest because it's so hard to do on your own and you can't see your phone properly and it's just... Elemis sent me some really gorgeous products of the day, one of them being this Pro Collagen Marine Cream. It's got SPF 30, which is amazing because you'll never forget to put SPF on. And I've just mixed in some of the Tan Lux um, face drops because as you can probably tell, my face is very pale compared to like the rest of my body. I'm gonna get ready now really quickly so I can go out and get shooting before it gets really busy. I think if I get all my stuff done before like three, it won't be so busy, but it's the summer holidays in the UK. So all the kids are off school, so it's busier than it usually is, which makes it a little bit harder. If you want to see what I'm doing to get ready, check out my TikTok, because my recent makeup routine is on there. I think it's on my Instagram as well, on my Instagram Reels. And I've also done, like, a quick, like, curly blowout tutorial on my TikTok. So if you want to see what I'm about to do, 
head over there and have a look. So I'm all ready now, as you can see. I got ready really fast today. I don't know how I did it. I'm wearing this gorgeous dress that I got from Zara. It's brand new. They'll definitely have it in stock. Let me show you. So it just looks like this. It's this little ruffly dress. I think it's really cute. It's a little bit booby. I need to figure out a way to wear this with a bra because it's backless as well. Like you can see my back in it. So I need to figure out a bra situation because I don't currently have anything. And then I just popped on some Zara boots with it. Right, I'm quite stressed out. I hate doing this. I really hate taking photos alone. Honestly, that was so stressful. Like, that was so stressful. So stressful. I'm here though, I did it. I went the wrong way, I might have got a ticket, I might have gone up a road that I shouldn't have gone up. There are so many roads that say like, accept cycles, and it's like, what does that mean? Like, just a bike can go down there. And then there'll be like a car, and a bike and then say accept authorized vehicles and it's like what does that mean like what does that actually mean maybe i should read the highway code is that something people do but jesus man england really needs to sort their road signs out i'm like building up the courage to get out of the car i need to pick which rings to put on with this feet i'm gonna do my little pearly ring but wish me luck, because I hate doing this. I really hate doing it. Let's go. Okay, um... That's been cut short, because, um... I've been deciding the whole way back whether or not to talk about what's happened. But I feel like it needs to be spoken about in case anyone else has been in the same situation as me. Um because it's not okay and also if anyone has been left feeling like this because of something that's happened to them similar I want you to know that you're not overreacting and you're not alone and you have every right to be upset angry all those emotions so as you guys saw I just pulled up and decided to take pictures I was taking pictures of my outfit I don't even know if I've got a good one I was there for probably 10 minutes and this is what it's like being a woman this is what it's like I go into town and pretty much every man stares at me like I'm a fucking piece of meat or something to just have I get comments made all the time I need to turn the aircon on sorry I'm too hot I get comments made by men all the time um, you know constantly it's a constant thing you know so i'm kind of used to that and i've accepted that cat calling is just part of my day if i go out um if i'm alone if i'm with lou it still happens i was just taking photos in a really quite cul-de-sac i think i said to you that it's like where the most expensive houses are in oxford it's a really quite little cul-de-sac it's really nice I keep feeling like I'm gonna cry and I'm not 100% sure why that is because nothing happened to me it did happen to me but I wasn't like grabbed or anything so I was there taking photos and a man came around the corner he's like talking to me and I was like here we go the usual do you want to go for a drink blah 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 so I'm talking to him he's asking what I'm doing I'm like oh, I'm just taking photos for Instagram um and he stood there talking to me for a bit and I looked down and he's got a massive boner I look down at my feet and I noticed that he's got like there's no way that you could not have seen it and I was like I'm about to get kidnapped <laughs> like this man is stood here having a two-minute conversation with me and for some reason that is his reaction I was like I'm in a really quiet cul-de-sac he lives just around there and I am about to be sexually assaulted again. And I don't know if my reaction to this is so strong because I'm a sexual assault survivor or because it would scare anyone. Um, but I've just cried the whole way. I'm at Costa now, I just wanna get myself a drink and calm myself down a bit. But that was horrible. That was really, really horrible. 
I feel really sick and it just pisses me off that men just look, not all men, not all men before people start with that, it pisses me off that they look at women like this object, this thing, like not once in my life have I stood and spoke to a woman about Instagram and got that turned on about it or turned on about it at all and it's like I don't think men even realise how predatory they are sometimes like I really don't think they understand how predatory they are it's just like I can't believe that just happened to be honest I feel really sick and just, I need loo. I need loo, I need a cuddle. I don't think you can understand what it's like to be a survivor of sexual assault because I get scared if there's a man behind me walking the dog. Like, I get scared so easily by men, but I feel like what just happened to me is a thing that is just, like, I know that me being scared about a man walking behind me isn't that, like, justified. Like, it's a bit like, okay, calm down. But that, what just happened, really scared me because I just thought, this is about to happen again. Like, this is about to happen again to me. Like, for a second time. Morning. Um, I feel better today. But yesterday was scary. Um, and I spoke to a few of my friends about it because, like I said, I think... I don't know if I'm reacting differently because of what's happened to me before or if that was just a normal reaction and I spoke to like three or four female friends and Lou and they were all like no that is really scary they were like yeah your reaction's been heightened because of what's happened in the past but um it wasn't an overreaction and that is scary for anyone but I went to Costa to get a drink and calm myself down and then I went to Lou's work just for a cuddle because I was really like shaken, I was really shaken up by it. I know that might seem silly to you, but to me I was really shaken up, really, really shaken up. So I went to Lou's work for a cuddle and that made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> and then she got back from work and um, I'm driving so slowly around these roundabouts that you don't fly off the dash. Um, she got me some flowers show you when we get back that was sweet but I'm just on the way to the gym now to get this box posted out today i need to do that i've been so busy i haven't had a chance to but i need to get it done today <laughs> These are the flowers that Lou got me. Shush! Yesterday, they're so pretty.
excuse the hair situation. I know I look like an egg. Just excuse that. Pretend it doesn't look like that. Please. Please. I know. I know. I do know. I know what I look like. Um, but I'm rushing around right now like a headless chicken. Um, so, if you didn't know, I own a marketing agency. I've just rebranded and kind of changed the business around because I wanted the business to be more private. I've had some issues with people from like gossip forums and stuff. So I've just decided to make the business private and not attach it to me in any way, shape or form. Um, I got this skirt yesterday, which looks lovely. How sweet is that? Isn't that so cute? Um, yeah, I got it yesterday. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to wear it. I'm just trying to make some audits before Lou gets back from work. Um, because she finishes at half one today, which is in, well actually it's in, um, it's in an hour and a half, so I should be completely fine. Um, but when she's home, I can't film these audits because it's just too hard with her in the background and I don't want her to make any noise and obviously you can't see her walking around behind me when I'm doing this because that would look really unprofessional. So I'm trying to get it all done before she gets back. Oh my god, I get so out of breath doing these. I've got one more to do and Lou finishes work in 15 minutes, but she's also got to drive home and there's road works. So she's probably going to be about half an hour. I reckon I have time to make a really quick coffee because my throat is killing. I've been talking non-stop for about an hour. Like I'm talking, I keep having to pause it because I'm like, because <laughs> my throat's just so sore. Like who talks for an hour straight without stopping? Like, I could never be a teacher. Oh my God, my throat would just close up. And it's like without a break as well, because you can't just be like, <sighs> anyway, <laughs> you can't do that. So, oh my God, I'm in pain, but I'm almost done. I've got one left to do. I'm actually getting on with these really well. Like I usually really struggle with it, but I'm doing really well with these. I'm really proud of myself. But I'm gonna go make a coffee really quickly. I am so out of sync with vlogging right now like I'm really out of sync with vlogging because I haven't done it for such a long time um, but yesterday I just finished all that work up that I was telling you I had to do um, and then me and Lou headed out to take some photos I got a few clips we went and got a burrito she got a burrito and I had um, a Five Guys <laughs> and um, Five Guys milkshake and we just kind of walked around Oxford a little bit and it was really nice I had a really nice evening with her and then we came back and watched uh the walking dead because i've made her watch that whole season not made her watch she's really enjoyed it um okay but yeah we're watching season 10 at the minute i think there's one season left but it's cold this morning it's like bitter out this morning it's horrible it's 14 degrees which is really cold okay here's a little bit of real life for you so i've gone to the gym um I've sat there, I've done my work, I've done my work for the morning, that's fine. Um, but I cannot get myself to work out. I am so stressed today because I have got so much to do. Um, the cleaners, the people that do our cleaning, the cleaners, they've all got COVID. Like, they've all got COVID, so they can't come. So the house is a mess, which is stressing Lou out. Um, I've been up since, like, six-ish, I think, because Lou is at the vaccine clinic today. Um, and they start quite early. So Lou's at the vaccine clinic, so obviously she gets up earlier and I get up for her alarm as well, because um, it just makes more sense like that. Um, so I've been up since really early, and I just feel like I've got, and this box needs to be posted. I need to return a dress, I need to take a skirt back to Mango. I'm gonna try and clean the house so it doesn't stress Lou out, because um, she's Virgo and she doesn't like mess. So because the cleaners are sick, I've got to clean the house, which is like an extra thing that I don't usually do. And also, our dog walker is on holiday this week, so it's like all the help that we usually have is gone. Um, so I need to do it all myself, which is kind of stressing me out a little bit. And I know that sounds silly because it's just cleaning and walking dogs. Um, we only have a dog walker once a week, by the way. Um, we do walk our own dogs, but it's just nice to have that one day a week where we don't have to worry about it because there's three of them and, you know, we walk them for like an hour. So it's a chunk of time gone. 
So I'm just feeling really overwhelmed and stressed today and there's also a lot of work I have to do. It's also Lou's birthday on the 3rd of September, um, which I'm really stressing out about because we are so busy. We're seeing friends on the Thursday, then we're going away for the weekend, then we're seeing friends on the Monday, then it's our anniversary on the Wednesday, then we're seeing her parents on the Thursday, and then it's her birthday on the Friday and we're going away for that weekend as well. So it's like we are non-stop that whole week pretty much like the week leading up to it we're non-stop and the week after we are completely non-stop so i am really stressed out about that week uh because i know i'm about to work for that week so i need to get all of my work done for that as well um so i'm just a little bit like about everything right now if that makes sense um and i just feel like there's a million things to do and i don't have enough time to do it so I couldn't get myself to work out because my brain was just like, we need to leave, we need to leave, we need to leave the whole time I was there. So I'm at the post office right now. I'm going to go return um, this package and also post this box off because this needs to go because it, I've had it for way too long and it should already be gone but I've just been too busy because my life is so hectic I also need to empty my car out because look at the state of it I've got crap all in here I've got crap all down there I've got crap all in the back so all of this stuff needs to go the car needs to be tidied I need to stuff back to mango I need to tidy the house I need to water the dogs I need to do everything and I also need to get work done hello right don't mind me my shoulders actually look really toned when I do that don't you think my arms look a little bit toned I don't know. I've still got like noodle arms, but I thought I'd run you through some of the stuff that I got. So I got some new mom jeans from Mango. Um, these are the mom comfort in 34s. I got them in white. Well, this is kind of like an accru color. It's not necessarily white, it's more like a creamy shade, I suppose. Um, and black because I didn't have them in that, but I've got them in two different shades of blue um, just to finish off my, my jean collection. Then Nasty Girl sent me some bits kindly. First being these little shorts. I love these, I think they're really cute. I think this with like a big chunky jumper would look really nice. And like some tights, and maybe some bike boots. And it's got a belt that goes with it as well. So these are the shorts. I get everything in a size six, by the way, apart from this set, which they've sent me in a medium, which I'm not 100% sure why. Hopefully we can make it work. It's like a little loungewear set. So it's just like these really fluffy shorts, which do look quite big. Like I'd expect it to kind of look like that at the top because it's a stretchy waistband as well so hopefully this fits me and then the top looks like this and it just says good in bed um which i just think is really cute and it's so soft it is so soft so soft and fluffy i gave that to lou to feel and she was like oh my god that is so nice but i'm just really hoping that it fits me because it's like two sizes up from what i use. i think i usually have an extra small and nasty girl and that's medium so it's two sizes up but it is stretchy so hopefully it fits then i got this cute little jumper it's just like a beigey brownie um like balloon sleeve jumper it's got these really poofy sleeves which look really nice and obviously we kind of are getting into autumn now so i wanted to get a few more like warmer bits like jumpers and just like comfy warm bits and then i did get two summer dresses as well um one being this gorgeous little linen mini dress it looks really nice it's just a gorgeous little simple mini dress that i think you could dress up really easily or dress down really easily as well and then i got this cute little green sage green mini dress with these gorgeous poofy sleeves i think this just looks absolutely adorable um it just looks really cute i love the look of everything and then lastly i got this little corset that i was thinking maybe i could wear like for lou's birthday with a shirt over the front of it hopefully this fits me I get things in a six and then I remember that I have boobs that are bigger than like the average six and like the boob bit for this is just that tiny little bit at the top and like you can see that's my boob in it and like my nipples there so I don't know how that's going to work I'm hoping that this will go over my boobs but I just don't know if it will um because the boob bit looks very very teeny tiny but hopefully i mean this whole thing looks teeny tiny so maybe it's just stretchy or something i don't know but hopefully this fits me but that's everything i got from nasty gal i'm gonna go and put all of my clothes away and put all of this i'm sat next to like a load of laundry and my lights are out they need to go back in storage <sighs> and i need to tidy up all the stuff that's in front of me and all the stuff in the laundry basket and i do want to try and clean the house because it's stressing me out because i know that lou's going to come back and be like oh the house is a mess because she really can't deal with mess and neither can i like i'm the type of person that can't sleep if there's mess out um and obviously the cleaners aren't coming so it's just like an extra job and i know that having cleaners is like a luxury but i am really really busy i know that i don't vlog that much now but i'm still really busy 
all the time like I feel like I'm just constantly busy and having cleaners is just like it takes them two hours to do it and it's just two hours that I actually get to have doing work and trying to keep myself not stressed out so yeah I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then start cleaning and then have a shower and then pop into town to return my stuff to Mango. I've just tried this on do the cleaning in and the shorts are massive on me like they're really 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 big <laughs> they're just huge uh, but the top fits fine but the shorts are just a little bit massive but I guess it's fine just for like lounging around the house but this is so comfy and so soft like I love it, it's really cute. So I'm gonna wear this to do all the cleaning in because it's just comfy. <laughs> Look at this boy. Hello. That looks so comfy. That looks so comfy, handsome. away i've made the bed and i've also popped this mirror in here if you guys could leave me your honest opinion on it in the comments i would really appreciate it so this is our bedroom it's not the biggest room in the world it's fine but it's not massive especially compared to my old room um and i have this giant mirror that i had in my old house because my bedroom was probably twice the size of this maybe even more um and it looked fine but in here i don't know if it's just too big but we had it in the spare room which i'll show you now so we had it in here on this wall which you've probably seen before but Lou kept saying like it feels too cramped in here I personally feel like it's smaller in here now that the mirror's not in here but I don't know I feel like the mirror really opened up the room because you could see the other side of the room reflected in it um but there is more space to move around now once that's moved out the way ignore the state <laughs> this isn't staying there I've got washing on the floor and everything but do you think this mirror looks too big in this room like does it look odd oh my god i am exhausted it's half past 12 now i think i've been cleaning for about three hours i've almost filled all of my rings on my watch because i've literally not stopped for ages i've tried to hang some pictures up here and then i think i'm done i can have a shower and pop into town until we get something else to go here But it'll just fill the space. Hello. Right, I'm all ready. I'm always very conscious to stand in front of this picture because I feel like YouTube's going to be really pissed off at me. Um, if I don't, should I have the necklace over or I think behind is the best option. So this, I'm literally ready now. It is 22, so I've actually done pretty well getting ready. The house is spotless Lou is gonna be so happy <laughs> i am not a naturally tidy person it's just not who i am it's just not who i am i'm not a naturally tidy person i'm a pisces sad to say it this is the outfit i'm wearing today uh really liking it actually i think it looks really nice um i've got this jumper on from mango jeans from mango shoes of Asia. i'm wearing my coach bag with it as well which is really nice a little bit of Anna Luisa jewelry ray jewelry <laughs> and Louisa and Mimi London earrings I think I'll link everything in the description for you guys but I love this fit okay so I'm driving right now into town and I just feel like sometimes I think about my life I might not even leave this in because the last time I spoke about how grateful I was some people took it in a really wrong way um like as if I was bragging I'm not bragging I just I'm so grateful and like I know I don't have like everything in the world and I don't have like all the luxuries in the world but I am so lucky like to have a car to have a house to have money to buy food like to have money to buy clothes like to have money to buy sanitary products like I am so so lucky and I was just driving and I sometimes I just get these overwhelming feelings of gratitude and I think that everybody has something to be grateful for like everybody has something to be grateful for um and i was just driving and i was like i am driving in a range rover evoke that i own outright 
I didn't have to put it on finance. I didn't have to lease it. I was able to buy this car outright and there's nothing wrong with finance or leasing at all. That's completely fine. I looked at leasing. I looked at buying a newer model um, and putting it on finance. There is nothing wrong with that. There is no shame in that. There's no problem with that at all. Those people do it. It's not an issue. But the fact that I had money available to me to buy this car outright is insane it is absolutely insane i am so lucky i am so lucky i am driving my dream car and nobody can take it away from me that is crazy i am so lucky i am so lucky i'm so lucky i have friends i have great friends around me i have friends in oxford now i really struggle to make friends i'm really awkward i'm really shy i work at home alone i don't have social settings to meet people in apart from lose friends but somehow thank you universe i have great friends that really care about me i have friends in wolverhampton i have friends in oxford i have people that care about me so much that if anything happens they're messaging me straight away saying are you okay are you okay like what's happened you can come around like do you want to come around for coffee do you want to come around for dinner i have people around me that care about me and support me and i feel so lucky to have that i have a family i have an amazing girlfriend i have the most amazing girlfriend that i could ever ask for and I could cry think about how much I love her because I just love her with my whole heart. Like, nothing in my life is more important to me than she is. She is an amazing woman. She is so beautiful. She is so kind and gentle and thoughtful and lovely. She is lovely. I've never known someone be so loving and can't even explain to you you just have to know her to know how amazing she is like i feel sorry for people that don't know her because she is incredible she is an amazing person um wow she really is incredible she's an amazing cook she is just i'm so lucky and i'm so glad i took that risk because if you didn't know this me and lou um were friends for a really long time before anything happened like that and um I was like, I don't, I spoke to my best friend's mom that I told you about earlier, that's Pisces, because she's kind of like a bit like a mom to me as well, I suppose. Um, and I was talking to her about it and she was like, Vicky, you just got to do it. Like, you just got to take the risk. She was like, I've seen you two together and you just look so happy together. Like, you just look perfect together. It's like you've known each other 50 years. You just got to do it. And if it wasn't for that conversation, I might not have even taken the risk and I just... All these little things happen in life that add up to something amazing and I am at a point in my life where I don't need to achieve any more goals to be happy. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to stop working, like that's not what I mean. I am going to continue to work. I still have more goals, but even if I never achieved another goal in my life, I'm so happy with where I am right now. I'm so grateful for where I am right now because I don't come from a rich family. I'm not one of these YouTubers who mummy and daddy bought their car or paid for their driving lessons or gave them a deposit. I am not one of these YouTubers that you watch who come from a rich family. That's not me. Um, I came from a single mom. She was on benefits. We lived in a council house. We couldn't always afford pads, tampons, things like that. Uh, we used one pound shampoo and conditioner. We ate Asda's own brand food. Um, I don't come from some rich family. Like I just don't. And that's fine. It's fine if your parents have helped you, but because I come from a family where that didn't happen, I didn't have a car bought for me, I didn't have driving lessons paid for, I was not given money towards a deposit on a house, that's not me. I will never have an inheritance of any sort, That that's not the type of family I come from. Um, and it just means so much to me that, like if 10 year old me could see me right now, she'd be like, oh my God, like, how did we do that? Hello, Fluffy. Hi, babe. Hi. Hi, you miss me. I wasn't long. I wasn't long. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. You made a mess. You got all your teddies out. Yes, you did. Hi. Bentley always gets his little toy box out, which we keep under there. You had your teddies! 
Yes, hello. 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 Hi. I'm back. I'm feeling really good. I was so stressed out this morning. So stressed out this morning. Like unbelievably stressed. Um but I'm here. I'm chilling. I was feeling so stressed out this morning, like unbelievably stressed because I have so much to do. And I've 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 made myself feel better. Like, can you see my bum in those mirrors? No, you can't. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if like you can just see like my bare ass? I'm taking my jeans off right now because I'm not the type of person that lounges around in jeans. Let me know if you are. If you're the type of person that just sits there in jeans, like on the sofa, one, what's wrong with you? And two, let me know. <laughs> let me know that you do it and why you do it, because <laughs> it's weird. But I'm gonna get my comfies on. I'm gonna put some, I'm just gonna leave this jumper on actually with some pajama shorts. I think that's probably the best and easiest thing to do. And then I'm just gonna reply to a few emails because I've got quite a few emails that have come through throughout the day. That was another one. Um, I must get like, 500 emails a day so it's kind of hard to manage an inbox that's that busy along with everything else <laughs> um but yeah i need a pa i just need one i need to hire one hopefully in the next month or so i'll have one i think lou will be really happy that i've tidied because i never tidy if like we ever need tidying or cleaning doing she does it because i absolutely hate doing it <laughs> i hate I hate it but today I've actually found it really therapeutic weirdly really weirdly um but I can't wait to sit down now I feel like I've literally been walking around all day like I feel like I've not actually sat down at any point sat down for like 20 minutes doing my makeup but other than that I feel like I haven't sat down anything I am here for you always I'm gonna be out of here first thing in the morning don't go I want you to stay I just want to rework some things, get you to dig a little deeper. T and I don't think it's a good idea.